That's how she is. She's the type of person who you're telling her something and she doesn't listen, only to realize it later on and be like, oh, let's not. Okay? So she came in there and she's like, you, you seem kind of annoyed. And I am. Because the other lady is pissing me off. <laughs> channel very odd time to start the vlog but ready for my last night shift of this week i'm off the weekend and for a while i was contemplating whether or not i wanted to pick up a shift this weekend because if i pick up a shift tomorrow night maybe even tomorrow morning tomorrow morning would be ideal to be completely honest if i pick up a shift tomorrow morning or tomorrow night then next week i don't have to worry about working an overtime shift but it would be ideal right now because um, it's my weekend off. Or it would be ideal next week to just pick up a ship next week and enjoy my weekend off. I could do either. And I love that I have that flexibility. Also, I'm mixing and matching the scrubs. These ones are ones that I've had before. The pockets are not really my favorite. Is this the one that I... Yeah. Um, this Tafford scrubs, I love the material. It's just the pocket isn't... These pockets are not really my favorite, but love it. These are the pants um, from my last Black Friday haul that I had done. But um, yeah. So I'm just checking my schedule to see what next week looks like. But my coworkers want me to swap a day with her and I don't feel like doing it. Just something in me just does not feel like doing it. And it's one thing about me. When I feel a certain way about something, I don't like going against that feeling. Tonight is the first I've ever like swooped my edges and because... I just be waking up because normally the time I hear down with these sand scarfs, I just be waking up, rolling it out of the sand scarf, and boom, right, that's it. So um, I decided to do my edges. I'm not even sure why. Um, but yeah, today is what? Oh, I'll be off Sunday and Thursday. That's okay. I think I'll I'll take the time off. definitely take the time off you know sometimes I, I really work with how I'm feeling because I don't like I don't really like to stress myself too much and while my job isn't really that stressful last night we had an incident where um there were four of us on the floor which is like pretty good and we had like one one to one and then like mid shift they were considering putting another one to one which naturally wouldn't be an issue but like we were um full census which means that if they had taken one of us away from the floor to put us on that one-to-one -one, then the other few people on the floor would kind of struggle a little bit and last night i was in the district where i was struggling a little bit afterwards my coworkers were laughing and saying oh my gosh we, we we thought you weren't here meaning like the entire time they basically just did not see me because obviously I was in the geriatric district. <laughs> we were laughing about it, saying that that is straight, the straight nursing home district. But you know what? It wasn't terrible. It's just that one of the nurses that I was working with, she's so... And I cannot with her. And we all know this, but I just cannot with her. So I went and I had this um, patient and I was looking for her because the lady, you could use some help with her, right? And so I'm looking for her. And it looked like she was still on her break. I came back off of my break at 4.30 a.m. It looked like she was still on her break. So I'm like, you know what? Should I start here or should I start at the end? I said, you know what? Since my card is here, I'm going to just start here. So I go in there and I kind of struggle with the lady a little bit. And I do it myself because obviously I work at a nursing home. So if it's one thing I know how to do is a hard patient. Or one that's considered hard, you know? And so I'm there and I'm like, you know what? I got this. I'm going to just do it on my own and like be good. By the time I got to the end, that was her. Oh, when you're done, can we do six? So I'm like, I already did six. Oh, no, you can't do her by yourself. I said I already did her. Oh, she has surgery in the morning and this and that. I said, listen, go in there. We got to change her gown. I said I already did all of that. Go in there and look because I already did it. I don't want to do the work two times lady me either. And you calling me to tell me to go back in there right now is me doing the work two times because I'm literally telling you I already went in there when you were in the lounge sleeping 
and I did it by myself. Now I'm annoyed, okay? So now I have this other nurse that I'm working with, because sometimes you work with three, four, even five nurses, okay? Uh, and, um, you know, so I have this other nurse that I'm at the end and she's stressing me out about going back to that one patient that I already went to and I don't want to go back because I know that I already went and she's not listening. And that's how she is. She's the type of person who you're telling her something and she doesn't listen, only to realize it later on and be like, oh, let's not, okay? So now I'm with this other nurse and I'm like, can we do your two patients? And she's like, oh yeah, sure. So I'm in the room, I'm done with the vitals and I'm standing there waiting for her. She went outside. I said, lady, where are you? She's like, oh, I'm right here. How did we just agree to do these people? And you left. Anyway, so the, the A bed, I did on my own. She was pretty quick. The B bed, she wanted to do something else with the lady. Fix a pure weight, this, that. Just do all sorts of things. What I had to do, I would have been done and been left. Okay? Because there's one thing about me, I work very quickly. It's either you're going to come in here or I'm going to do what I'm doing and you're going to have to come back and circle on your own. Okay? So she came in there and she's like, you, you seem kind of annoyed. And I am, because the other lady is pissing me off. And normally, I'm happy-go-lucky, free spirit, just floating, okay? But she really pissed me off so much last night, and I really hope that I'm not in her district um, tonight, because I, I can't even. And I just want this last shift for the week to just be smooth, because I, I can't even with her. So now in the morning, I'm waiting for my friend, and my friend was doing a one-to-one. -one. The one-to-ones, you have to wait for a relieve. So my friend is doing a one-to-one, -one and she's waiting for her relieve, and... That same lady was the nurse sitting outside the door. So I said to her, it's uh, seven o'clock. Can you not sit here and like just watch the room so we can go because it's seven o'clock and they don't leave until any time after 7.30. Oh no, I have these two patients who are trying to come out of bed. What happens if one comes out of the bed and I have to leave? I don't, she said, I don't do that. I said, okay, do the most because anybody else would have, would have watched them. But you, you got to just know how some of these people are that you're working with and know to... This is how you deal with them, right? And so I'm like, okay, whatever. It's If we wait the five minutes, it's going to be fine. Same time I seen the lady who was supposed to relieve her coming. And then afterwards, she was like, oh, you know, you could go. So my friend said to her, no, you said you don't do that. I'll just wait for the lady to come. Because go to hell. Are you okay? She's just, and this morning we're talking about her on our way home. And she's just a miserable old woman. Like, and it be those older nurses in the profession that really ruins it for people who are thinking of becoming a nurse or like the younger nurses in the profession because I'm telling you they're on 10 and, and I'm not saying that you're supposed to be perfect but last night I heard her asking somebody else how to do something else I don't know how to do this how do you do this and when she's talking to you the entire hospital floor hears her talking to you get it together I can't even I can't even. Anyways, we're ready to go to work tonight. I'm in good spirits and nothing is going to ruin that. I felt so comfortable with my scrubs. And um, the other day when my shoes flooded, I just remembered that I had them outside sitting for about a week. So now they're dry. So I think I'm going to wear my Prestos tonight. <laughs> we'll see. Hopefully they don't smell funny because they were wet. You know what? I'm going to spray some air freshener in there. Some Febreze. What do I have here? Febreze? Yeah, I'm going to spray some Febreze in there and I'm going to be ready to go. I just remember that I said I was going to tell you guys about this story time about a nurse on the floor that I work on. Old Haitian lady, right? Really is something else. Last night I had a time with her. Hate working with her. She's real blissful. Anyways, one night I'm doing a one-to-one. -one. I'm sitting in the room. There are four patients in the room. She comes in the room and she's like, oh, I have to give this one an animal. This is my second time watching an animal, right? realizing that it's real actual soap water <laughs> so she strings up the little thing with the soap water in it and then you know you have that piece that's gonna go in the person's butt the man is sleeping on his side she goes in the room she says nothing to the man barely turns the light on raises the bed and she just starts putting the tubing inside of the man's butt right so now the man is frightened out of his mind and he's like hold on what is going on this is her to the man and this is going to be my worst Haitian accent. But my friends who are Haitian, please do not get offended. I can't do this. She's like, relax, relax. Relax? You're halfway up the man's ass. What do you mean relax when you didn't prepare him ahead of time? You just started putting that tubing up the man's butt without saying anything at all. And now when he's tense because that's his butthole and you didn't prepare him, you're telling him to relax? It's a little too late for that old lady. What the hell are you doing? And I'm just standing there like, um, 
explaining to the man what is going on because obviously she didn't do that and he's just like yeah but at least tell me instead of just shoving the shit up my ass yep that's what i thought too but i guess we're here and like i said i really had a time with her last night but she's also the type of nurse she's an old haitian woman she's also the type of nurse that has been in the profession for a while and she's the type of person who also ruins the profession for future nurses or like the new grad nurses. Because when I tell you that, she's not graceful. When she talks to you, and I know that Haitians, some Haitians, I guess, are like a little bit more loud when they talk to you. But when she talks to you, the entire hospital floor that I work on, which is big, can hear her talking to you last night she was like oh let's let's go to this patient so i said i already went and i already did everything oh no you can't do it by yourself bitch i used to work in a nursing home if i said i went in there and i did it then i did and i'm not going back because i'm not doing this work twice she doesn't want to work twice me either which is why i'm not going back so go in there and check to see that the patient is ready for surgery but i'm not going back and what she should have done initially was say to me listen when you're when you're going back to your patients don't do this one okay leave that one for last so we can go together because they have surgery in the morning and i want to make sure that certain things are done right instead of having me go in there and then at 6 45 a.m tell me that you want us to go in there at this point i'm already done with everything for all of my patients i'm not going anywhere so to make a long story short she then goes in there i go in there with her Look, come on let's go i take my own sweet time because i know i already went and i already did the work she's like oh are you ready not yet i'm still doing something and you're gonna wait until i'm done because like i said i already went in there and i know that the patient is ready so you know after all of that we go in there and she's like oh you changed the gown lady i told you i did that i told you she was ready oh i just want to make sure i told you to come check because i said i already did it i hate working with her and so does everybody else. And you know, the one thing about me is I'm never going to be that person who is wrong and strong. When I go to my patients, I make sure that the room is in tip-top shape. Everything is nice and clean. Because if I stay outside and I tell you I already did it and you should go check, you can't come back and tell me nothing. Because I don't ever want nobody to go in a patient's room behind me and say that, oh, this wasn't done, that wasn't done.